down his recipes before he left. But if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly? Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah. The Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret, Boco Poco, Blue Helena, Red Mambo... Blue Helena. Helena. Yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Blue Helena, you say. Let's see. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure of honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes. Shake it all together and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. You have been most helpful to me. Okay, we got it. Let's head back to the bar. Hey, below the stone. How are you today? Uh, game's going okay. I think we're pretty far along now. I've managed to get the window bigger. <laughs> and I've managed to get the cursor so it's not so uh, hiding the game cursor. Right, we have the Vespa, hopefully. Right. Um, hmm. What's the matter, Baron? Why are you meowing? You're soaking wet again. Where are you going? Give you some treats because Luna's had already this morning. There you go. He's absolutely soaking. <laughs> He's just coming from outside. Uh, he's got a very squeaky meow for a male cat. Are you not coming up? I'm coming to say hello. There. Uh, we need to. Okay, so that's a lemon press, isn't it? We're squeezing the. Sorry, the lime. We need a lime. There's a note there. What's this? Oh, not a musical thing. I don't like musical things. <laughs> oh no. Let me take a screenshot of this for a second if I can. Is that going to work? I put that over another screen. I don't know what that's for. Oh, shake. Oh, did he say shake? I don't know if he said shake. Did he say it needed shaking? I don't know. And do we not need to put a bottle in? That looks like a bottle thing, doesn't it? Or that one? Oh, there's so many machinery. Let's put, we need the bottle in. Right, that can go there. Do we need to put the glass in? No. Does the glass go there? Oh, that's the shaker. Right. What's the keys for? Uh, right, we need vodka. So vodka has to be this way. Mm. I presume that's over here already. Vodka's the second one. So we need to... Can I press that, do you think? No. 
That's on or off. The on. Second one. What comes the second key? I don't know if that's right or not. Then we needed blue caracho. I need to flick that and press the third one. I hate musical puzzles. <laughs> then we need honey. So that must be honey. I didn't hear anything. It's not on the list. Then we need a lime. But we don't have a lime. And then we need ice cubes. Well, those ice cubes went in. We need a lime from somewhere. And then we shake it. My God! From what backwater of hell did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? It's a... Uh, a blue Helena. That is impossible. The blue Helena had a color that was... like... Um, and an aroma like... Um, you understand? Its texture was not quite so... Um, one thing is for certain. This is no blue Helena. Make an effort, my child. Right. I guess I'll try out another mix. The lemon wasn't working though, was it? Hmm. Right, it's switched on. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, so that's definitely relates to the drinks, but whether it's which side, it should be there, isn't it? A, B, C, D, E, F. Is these two are not working. That doesn't do anything. I wonder how that works. We need a I wonder how that works. We need a lime on it. I wonder how that works. I think that's what's stopping us. So how do we get a lime on the Romanski. Would it be possible to... Do you have my cocktail? No, not yet, but... No buts, dear! No ifs! If I don't get my cocktail, I won't go with you to Konkosgrad. What are you waiting for? Did you hear that, James? This situation is quite unbearable. I quite agree with you, madam. This young lady clearly is quite incompetent. We really should abandon the whole idea. Yeah, I need a key. No, don't say that. This cocktail is important to me as well. Where are we going to get Go lemon on, and honey? Show us what you're made of. Where do they normally keep that at a bar? Is it underneath or? There's nothing here. Is that a cupboard? Uh, look, honey. Now, it said lime, didn't it? But that looks more like a lemon to me. So can I put the lemon on there? And the honey 
There. Ah, right. Let's start this again. That needs to be over to there first. Right, we need vodka. So that's the second one. Then blue caracho, which is the th third one. Then honey. <gasps> I don't think that did anything. That worked. Ice cubes. Shake. I suspect the honey didn't work. Oh, my God, it's a uh, that right. Why is the honey not working? Can we put the honey anywhere else? Crystallized honey. Oh. Oh, right. Ah, okay. We need to warm it up to decrystallize it, which is where that uh, hot water pool comes in. See, this is why I don't buy normal honey. Because <laughs> um, it crystallizes far too quick. I've started buying um, acacia honey, I think it's called, or acacia honey. It takes a lot longer to crystallize. Right, we need to turn this on. Well, we need to put the honey in. I think it's already on. We did turn it on earlier. PS, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. Um, in what respect? Cut back in. Shaking itself. Getting rid of some water off. Well, the character models. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is a really old game. Um, it's very Tomb Raider-ish, isn't it, really? The very first Tomb Raider games. She looks very Lara Croft. Right, let's reset that. So we need that back to there. We need to, to say number two for vodka. Three. Uh, we need to put the honey back on. Ah, that looks better. Ah, keep squirting in this time. Then a lime. And then ice cubes. And then shake. It's more rounded. It's, it's there's a bit more detail on the cart, doesn't there? Two meter was very my voice sharp angle to start with. My God, that is atrocious, horrific. It was too good to be true. George's blue Helena is powerless, ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but 
Really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back, hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creature. <laughs> I, um, I managed to watch the whole of your new video uh, yesterday. It was really good. I liked the two of you sitting there at the desk. The pixel art. I wonder if we show her the glass and see if she'll smash it or something. I nope. The blue Helena really does have a magical effect. Your voice is sensational. I am not convinced. If my voice has really returned, it is not ready. It is still not powerful enough. I tell you you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam, when you would test your vocal prowess by breaking crystal tableware and decorations. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> Shards of crystal. I could never do that now. Yeah, that's where the glass comes in then. She has to break it. Yeah, it was very professional looking. Um, it was just very well done and very well voiced. So uh, that must, it must have taken a, a few takes, did it? I knew it would if it was me doing it. That's great. Yep. I kept out of the discussions on them. Um, uh, um, the clues on your Discord because I I knew too much really, so I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Yeah, I just get well out of it. <laughs> yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Can we use this glass? How do we... Oh, I could put it there. Right, now she has to sing. My voice. My God, what have I done? I'll pay My for that. You're not allowed to break glasses. Did you hear that, James? My voice. My voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, you're no spring chicken these days. Time has taken its toll. <laughs> and you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you'll have fun on your own. Madam, leaving you is quite out of the question. Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As ever. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Comcallsgrad? You do, my dear. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away! I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. James! Take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick! Quick! What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for me. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? Shut up, James, and put your foot on it. It's very well animated, this game. Model characters. 
Right, where are we going now? Back to our airship. Uh, I can close this diagram down. This way. I uh, still watching this football. Andy's cleaned the fountain up. I presume she'll be coming on the airship, do her little concert, and then. We'll get the train back to here and drop her off. <laughs> Another phone call. Hello? Hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? She's the one What's having up? the fling with the husband. Cat got your tongue? Well, <laughs> tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that romance chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long? I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question. That's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I... I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. <laughs> Dan! What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am... weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation. I... What? After the Goldberg, Dan took me home. We were a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap and then, okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but... But then we got so close lately, and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I... Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to die. Look, don't bust a gut over it. You and Dan, it's... it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I, I need to process this new bit of data. Yeah, it's a bit... Like some automaton or something? Kate, please! What? I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own. Hi. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, that sideline story is a bit unnecessary. I find uh, there's no point to actually to it. <laughs> Here's the airship going away again. Well, it would have taken a while to do the two then, the two videos. I was actually going to post up the link to your video. I was just looking it up. <laughs> Three videos again. <laughs> Why are you up there? You're just after more treats, aren't you? That's what you're after. Oh, you're welcome. We do what we can to help. Oh, she's away to sing.
Cutscene that. Even the bangles are moving down the arm and that, and the feather bow around their neck. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. I thought that was falling down on top of her. What's he doing? He's captured her. Okay. Why are you climbing over all the bags? You know. You can see her in the background there. Like. Luna, Luna, where are you going? <laughs> She's just a, a little monkey, really. Just... Right, I guess we need to, um, we're going to have to rescue her from there. She's been out all night as well. Oh, she's about to fall down. Kate, help me. What is happening? What does this man want of me? He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there. And I'm going to find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romansky. You can trust me. Okay, we need to get her out of here. There's a code lock on here or something. It's a padlock. This lock looks fairly solid. I need a key. Do I not have metal shears? Yeah. Can I cut through that? <gasps> Don't need a key. Oh, at last, young lady. I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry. Get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. That's her rushing. Rushing. Rushing back to the train. <laughs> right, I need these hands. How do I get the hands? Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Run, Kate, run. That's it, you just take your time down the steps. Are you all right, madam? My heart is being put to the test here. But it just might hold. Let's go. Let's not hang around here. Oh, is this a, like an elevator? I can't remember. I don't like elevators. <laughs> oh! But, my god! What has happened now? Ha ha! Nice try, Miss Walker! But you are not strong enough. Not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me and bring Madame Romansky back, or I shall not be responsible for my actions. 
You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. No chance. You will never succeed. Ha! We'll just see about that. I warned you, Kate Walker. I warned you. Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. How are we going to get out of here? Uh, I can't go through there. That door is locked. Yeah, that door is locked. I need a key. How about over here? This is just back down in the mine then. This is the way we came in. Uh oh, oh, what happened? Or I guess it caved in. Uh, I need to pull this lever, get the elevator to come down. What's that? Uh oh. Boom. Okay, we can't go out that way. Can't go back that way. We've got nothing on us. Hook there. I still go up that way. Oh, there's a pipe. Well, that was easy. <laughs> now let's get onto the train. Yeah, it's very, um, it's very Russian and the music goes well with it, doesn't it? What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. That is a bit of a concern. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Hmm. Where's Oscar? Oscar's not here. And uh, we don't normally get no to No point weighing there. myself down. We can't go out that way. Where's Oscar? Unless he's at the front of the train. Oh, do we need... No, no. Well, she was the. She would have given him his hands. There's, there's Oscar. Oscar, I'm back. Let's get out of here. 
What a pleasure it is to see you again, Kate Walker. Please take your seat with Miss Helena in the carriage. I've just come from she there. She simply is a charming lady. Charming. She helped me screw my hands back on. I must inform you, though, that regulations make no provision for supplementary passengers. I hope that you still have your ticket for Arrowbad. Oscar! Message received and understood, Kate Walker. Departure imminent. He's such a stickler for the rules. Oh, this is moving forward. Hello? Kate, hi. It's me, Dan. Are you alright? I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess... It's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. No, you won't. Hey, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. Oh, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman. So he's not going to say anything. Hall. Well, other than that. About his fling new. with Olivia. I see. Everything's cool, though. Yeah, yeah, everything's uh, cool. You're not missing me at all. Oh yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Nothing to say. So sorry. I. I I don't know what came over me. It, it happened so quickly. I just totally lost control. I was so weak, so dumb. I just can't imagine how... I just can't... I can't imagine how you could ever forgive me. What a bastard I've been. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere on all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. What's happening to us, Kate? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. Right, we need to get moving. Do we just sit here? Sit in the chair? No? Just talk to the Olivia? What on earth is going on? Why is this train? That is a bit of a cons. I thought we were just to sit down and the Oscar would get the train moving. Uh. There's, there was a chair in here. Let's go sit down. No? I want the train to leave. <sighs> How do we get the train to go? Oh, ticket. Oh, mm. Silly. Silly Oscar. I need to show him the ticket. And then we can go and sit down. No, oh, wrong one. Ticket, ticket, ticket. Where's the ticket? Where's our ticket?
We don't got a ticket anymore. What is it this time? Large iron rods have emerged from between the huge legs of the giant statue. The track is now completely blocked. But that's absolutely crazy. Will that madman never get off our case? I'm going to see what I can do. Right, we can climb up inside the iron thing because we've done that before. We usually climb up here. Why do we get up there then? Do we have to go back in this way? I don't think we could get in there. No point, it's locked. We don't have anything on us. Oh. We need something for there. We need to find something. It was a key before that we needed. Can we come further up? I wonder if there's anything at the other side. Can we get over to the other side of the train track? Because we, we couldn't get there before. And we definitely need something for here. Hmm. Wasn't a lever to pull this lift down or anything? Yeah, it's some of the puzzles have been really not obvious. Maybe ask Oscar if he knows anything. Oscar, I was just wondering if... Kate Walker, we have to do something. You must find some way of getting us out of here ASAP. Perceptive as ever, Oscar. See if we can go to the other side. Yeah, you can just end up going around in circles and not getting anywhere because you've missed one tiny little thing. <laughs> I can't go over that way. I can't go that way. Right, we're missing something. Right, that's the lever for the old elevator that's now not working. Can we pull that? Can't go back down the pipe. I don't need to do that again. That's the only thing I can use. I can look in here. Explosives. Ah. Let's blow the thing up. Oh, 
there's been quite a few times in this game I've just been utterly stuck. <laughs> Oscar, let's get the hell out of here. Is that not going to block the truck? No, obviously not. Okay. <laughs> Going to drop the old lady off again. Uh, we'll need to go wind the train up. a winder over there. Oh, Oscar. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice warm train. Get a life, Oscar. Um, try a mission. Oscar, can we get going now? Really, Kate Walker? First, we have to wind up the train's mechanism. Of course. What was I thinking of? Right away, I'm on the case. See you around, Oscar. I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. Hey, let's get the train going again. It was that easy. <laughs> Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Uh, give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package? For me? <laughs> but that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. What's all this about? It's very officious looking, isn't it? Stomping off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. 
Where was it? Where's the parcel? There. He's opened it. Oh. No! Oh! oh, not another phone call. Who's at this time? Mom. Hello? What the hell are yeah. you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle Adjourn. if the deal Adjourn. isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dineros. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No that? buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo-jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. No. Oh. <laughs> Best way, just hung up. Who's phoning reception? Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madam Romanski would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. It's hot nine. Why does she want to see us? Madam Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Conco's grad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day, getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgot. Madam Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. You've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, how he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorarlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. Why does she want us to go out to meet the plane with the supplies?
Do we need that mask on? I don't need to do that again. Okay. Because it's been snowing. Let me just save. I haven't saved for a while. Who's this? Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate. Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Varlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, a. Uh... My job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now. And I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away. On the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's... Great news! Good work! Excellent work, Walker! A real masterstroke! I knew I could count on you. Oh, you yeah, didn't. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train, too? Kate Walker? Uh, no, that really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. She's changed in her mind. She 
she going on the plane? No. She goes on the train. to jump on. <laughs> she made it. Off into the... not the sunset. <laughs> the snowset. I want to play Siberia 2 now. I do have it. What's this going to do? It's probably just going to load up the. I don't know. Right, I do have Siberia 2. Um, I will get that going. Uh, I need to quick buy a bit, grab a coffee, and I shall be right back and we shall make a start with Siberia 2. <laughs> 